Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL's Advanced Edition on Hard Mode with the VSS Citrus here with Lemon Lime Orange Kumquat Grapefruit and Tangerine on board. We have got ourselves a quite a nice setup all of a sudden, has given that we now have some more direct laser firepower with a pair of chain lasers and a halberd beam, and we are even better protected because we have our Zoltan Shield now. We're still missing a couple important systems like sensors. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to keep going here and make some good progress in this additional NG-controlled sector. Let's jump over to this unvisited location and see what they've got for us. Alright, upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. No, thank you. We'll happily reject that offer. They say that we will re regret our decision, but somehow I doubt it. We're going to mind control their pilot just for the fun of it and get them to mess around with each other and stop helping bite us. Also, we're going to be trying to blast them pretty hard here in a second. We have a lot of chain lasers, which gives us very few actual opportunities to get through their defenses, but surprisingly enough, we got it basically first try, which is awesome. There we go. Damaging shields and weapons is a priority for us, because if they had both of those online, they could do damage. With an ion, heavy ion and a halberd beam, they actually had a chance to hurt us, whereas they do not have that opportunity now. There we go. It's going to be a bit of a pain for us to keep this stuff disabled, given they do have an NG on board, who's going to be repairing things nice and quickly. But since we can ping in damage like that pretty effectively, since their evasion seems to be pretty awful, we can murder them. They try and surrender, offering us 6 fuel, 8 missiles, and 19 scrap, but we don't really need fuel right now. We've still got 24, and hopefully we can get more than 19 scrap when we kill them. If we don't get much more than 19 scrap, we'll be very disappointed. That's much better. Ship explodes, giving us 3 fuel, which is still pretty good. 1 drone part and 37 scrap, which is much superior. Alright, let's keep moving. We're going to go down this way, because it looks like there's more interesting stuff over here, and I'm not even sure if he can really even get over there. We have to go around there. This is not as cool. So let's jump over on this side and see what we find. Alright, we come across a large trade station, however as soon as we approach, a warning goes up to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation Sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. Well, we're gonna search among the stores and see if someone will sell to us, because mind control doesn't honestly seem to be that good. We apparently spoke to the wrong person in our search for a store, warnings go off, we detect an automated old ship moving into attack. That mind control is good if what you really, really want is the ability to use a store. But I kind of want to be able to fight something so we can get some more resources. And hopefully this bomb either misses or gets absorbed by our shield. There we go, that's basically ideal. These guys do have chain lasers, so we have to be a little bit careful with this. But we have a lot of firepower to bring to bear against them. Thankfully their aim is atrocious too. Ion bomb knocks out the rest of our Zoltan shield, but that could have been much worse if it hadn't hit the Zoltan shield. Let's go for weapons here with the chain lasers. Ooh, only got one shot through there, but now we can, I think, just about wipe them out. There we go. Oh, they hit the rocket launcher online. That's not what we wanted. And they've cloaked, which is also pretty bad. So they're going to get at least one rocket off at us. Probably going to do some damage with it. They're waiting to alpha strike us with the bomb, though. Well, until the cloak wears off anyway. Yep, there goes the bomb. All right, here comes some damage. Please don't hit anything important. Bomb misses. Oh, right in the mind control for two damage. That's fine, though. We can go repair that. We'll send grapefruit over there. And the autoscope goes down anyway. With them destroyed, we require a 3 fuel, 2 missiles, and 34 scrap, which is nice. And let's get this ship back ship shape again. With 82 more scrap to spend, I'm not sure exactly what I want to buy next. There's a store coming up, but I think I want to save my money, honestly, and use it to power up our defenses. Our evasion is our priority right now, though, so we're going to go for level 5 evasion, because we still didn't have that yet, which is pretty surprising for this late in the game. But now that we do, that should make our... Uh, Zoltan Shield even stronger. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails our ship, saying they've prepared a weapon to aid or escape from the rebels, giving us 18 scrap and a small bomb. Well, that is pretty low power as far as finding weapons goes, but I really shouldn't complain, because free weapons are free weapons. What else do we have here? A Mantis vessel flashes past our view screen, weapons and engines at full. A tiny blip on the sensor readout marks its quarry. Well, obviously we're going to go help them. Aid the civilian ship. Here we go. We frown, power up the weapons, and prepare to engage the Mantis. However, we're not going to let them board us. We're immediately mind-controlling their captain, which should injure their crew enough that they don't necessarily want to board us with them, which is kind of the idea here. 
They will be able to fire at least one missile at us. Probably a Lido based on the charge time. Thankfully it missed anyway. The Ion Stunner didn't miss, which is a little bit frustrating, but we'll see how it works out. This guy might be coming to board us now. We'll see. We're going to fire at their weapons. Hopefully they don't hit anything with that bomb. They do not. We're going to halberd them through some core systems here, making them a little bit more vulnerable to the fact that we just killed one of their crew. Since they no longer have their... Uh, Clone Bay, that guy will be dead forever. We're about to lose our shields for real, but hopefully we can knock out the weapon system before that happens. There we go. The bomb is not going to be effective anymore. We can try and kill them off, but I think it's easier at this point to just murder them. Goodbye, Mantis Assault. Halberd Beam marks your grave. Mantis ship breaks apart, giving us two missiles, a drum part, and 35 scrap, and we contact the civilian ship. We find out they didn't survive the assault. We do get a fuel, another two missiles, another 22 scrap out of it, though, so that's not too bad. Alright, we have 87 scrap again. I should probably wait and save up for a little bit more to buy ourselves more powerful shields. So we're going to jump down this way, then we'll check out that pair of distress beacons. We're hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion's complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. And they arm weapons. They've got a chain laser, basic laser, halberd beam, and some kind of bomb. Interesting enough. Let's go mind control their captain, just to give him a hard time. There's a nice miss coming in, that's lovely. That is a small bomb as well, which makes it more or less irrelevant at this point. We're going to blast them now with the halberd beam for pretty massive damage. They're trying to run away, which is fine, because I don't think they're going to be able to get away before we can fire at them again. Nobody's on the helm anyway, since they're injured now, and trying to do a variety of repairs. Next shot's going to go for the helm, so they really can't go anywhere. And they try and surrender, offering us a generous 5 fuel, 5 missiles, and 21 scrap, but we don't need fuel or missiles right now, so we're just going to kill them. Albert Beam, thank you very much. Rebel Fighter goes down, no contest. Ship explodes, giving us a paltry one fuel, one drone part, and 29 scraps. So I should have taken their previous offer, but that's fine. There's no way to know that in advance. And let's jump over to this distress beacon. We could buy shields now, but I'm going to save up a little bit more scrap and see what happens. We find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. We hail them, asking what's wrong, and they tell us they're being overrun by giant alien spiders. But we have no... Uh, we have a clone bay. Yeah, we can afford to go in there, I guess. Sure, why not? Let's send the crew to help. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Our crew slowly creeps up in a cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, our team stays in control, and before long, we've beaten them back. We contact the station owners, who are thrilled with our success, and offer us a pretty weird reward of 5 fuel, 2 drone parts, and 19 scrap, which is not that good, considering the risk we just took. But whatever, we're going to come back over this way and can see what else we can do. The ship emitting the distress beacon here messages us. Sorry to bother you, but we're out of fuel and can't get out of this barren sector. Could you help us out? Absolutely we can. You can have the fuel the other guys just gave us. Here you go. We give them 4 fuel and they give us... a reactor upgrade. Oh. Well, at least that's like a 30, a 30 scrap value. That's pretty good. Now we can actually afford to go up to three shield bars. So you know what? That was worth it. It wasn't a great... Oh, there's a store right there. Of course there is. It wasn't a great reward, but it wasn't a terrible reward either. What do we find here? There are a number of merchant ships passing through the area, despite the threat of Mantis invasion. They're not interested in buying the efficient technology of the NG. Nothing actually here, though, unfortunately. So we can go to the store, but we have no money and nothing we want to really sell, except maybe a small bomb, but we probably can't buy anything with that money anyway, so I'm not sure if it's really worthwhile. I guess I should have held on, held on to my money until I found out what the store was, but then again, we did want those shields anyway. An NG ship hails, saying, Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Is that so? You've got a drone recovery arm and a battery charger and a healing bomb and a breach missile. Okay, I didn't miss anything here. <laughs> it's alright. We'll buy one hull repair and keep going. Now they've got one, two, three jumps? Maybe we can go on all three of those. I think it'll be pretty close if we try and go for all three, but we should be able to do it because at the rate they're advancing, they're coming up to about there, means they'll go about there. Yeah, we should have plenty of space. Let's jump over here and go to all three of these beacons and see what we can find along the way. The NG are awaiting us at this beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus that's wanted for hostile acts against the NG. Multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interfaces aboard our vessel. Oh, wow. <laughs> more, more amazing things. All right. They insist they must destroy our ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Well, let's have our NG crew member negotiate so we can get ourselves a virus crew member. That sounds great to me. Here we go. Goodbye, grapefruit. You'll be reborn more powerful than you could possibly imagine. As the NG attempts to contact the vessel and negotiate, our NG crew member suddenly dissolves into nanites. The virus is murdered again. Detecting activity on board our ship, the NG vessel opens fire. The virus appears to have disrupted our clone base cap capability to revive the lost crew member. Holy drones, Batman! Look at this! Look at this! 
three anti-drone drones. That's a little bit excessive, don't you think there, guys? I don't mind control your captain. You're all engines anyway. Kriz, El Nub Nub, and Magardi. They can't actually hurt us either, so I'm not too worried. We're just going to try and blast the crew down quickly here. There we go. There's a good bit of damage there. We're going to fire up through here, maybe. It's a pretty good shot, actually. Uh, only do one damage to weapons, but that doesn't mean they can never hurt us ever again. So that's fun. Um... These guys are basically dead already, which is great. Deal some more damage here for no reason. Once we recharge again with a nice fast chain charge, we can kill them with a the halberd beam. No, pr no trouble. Even if we miss a bunch of shots here, we should be fine, which we didn't because the helm is broken. Goodbye, NG Outrider. Nice try. Nice try. With the ship destroyed, we scrap it and prepare to jump away, getting a missile drone part and 48 scrap. To our surprise, however, our NG crew member reforms. It looks as if the virus reconstituted, repurposed, and reprogrammed the NG host and wants to travel with us. And it seems to have learned a great deal from its time on our ship. Virus is a very cool crew. He has maximum everything, just like Envoy, the uh, Zoltan. We're going to rename him, though. He's going to be Grapefruit once more. He can be uh, Grapefruit the second. Oh no, I don't want to have that be his name. Grapefruit. Alright, he's Grapefruit the second in spirit. And he's going to go take over doors again. Because we don't really have anything we actually need him to do right now. All of our crew are very good at what their jobs are. Let's get over this way, then hit the exit and get out of this sector. This might be a very short episode, given how fast we've been tearing through here. We arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft where a teleporter signal is detected and we have an intruder on board. A young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck and begs for sanctuary from the NG, offering to serve in exchange for our protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter's signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Well, we could side with the fugitive. We could try and get ourselves an NG, a mantis crew. Why not? It was a trap! The mantis sabotages our hull before teleporting away. And that is why I rarely attempt that, because look at all these drones! Three defense drones! Because I find that almost always you get sabotaged. But then again, you almost always get sabotaged no matter what option you pick. So really, it doesn't matter that much. Plus, these guys literally cannot hurt us. They have all of their power in drones. And they have a mini beam and single heavy laser as their normal weaponry. You silly people. Alright, let's mind control their captain. Fire some lasers in here at their med bay. We shot one of their drones, I think, which is fine by me. Fire that beam in there, damage some people. Alright, they look like they're not going to give us too much trouble at all. Prime the chain lasers again. Mind control ended there, which is fine. There we go, let's fire the halberd up through there again. This should basically kill them. Yep, we got one hull left. They are going to go down nice and quick. This is some serious firepower, actually. I've never tried combining chain lasers like this, but I have a feeling it's going to be pretty effective. Especially if we can get another one, that would be even better. Ship explodes, even behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, giving us one fuel, one drone part, and 39 metal. Alright, well, that was pretty good. Let's hit the exit beacon and see what we can get on the way out of here. We arrive at the long-range beacon, only if to drive this charge, we can jump to the next sector, and here we find what appears to be a simple nebula is actually a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage just by our screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation, so obviously we investigate the battlefield. And as we approach the wreckage, a mantis ship screams into the system, either sensing prey or to finish the job its fellows started. Well, we're going to immediately go for a mind control on here, just to give these guys a hard time. Until they get down our shields, our Zoltan shield, they can't board us anyway, but this will at least probably kill off one of their crew, which would be ideal. Since they don't have a clone bay, just a normal med bay. Oh, oh, there we go. And the small bomb missed, which is great. Now we're going to fire some shots into their med bay. Oh, just missed there, that's fine. Clone bay, actually teleporters are next target. We don't want them to board us right now. There we go, there's some nice damage. Now we might theoretically be able to kill this crew if we waited long enough for mind controls. But, ooh, I also have ion bombs, that's nasty. I don't think we're going to wait that long. We're going to make sure we bring the pain to them, rather than letting them repair everything and be fine, and then harass us with bombs to get their uh, big laser back online and ruin our day. There we go. You are some dead Mantis and NG. Goodbye, Mantis fighter. Ship explodes, giving us another three fuel drone part and 40 scrap. Very nice. Getting a bit low on hull, though. Don't like that too much. Let's jump to the next sector and see what we're looking at. We have an abandoned sector or an abandoned sector. Talk about choice in this run. We've had like three NG sectors and <laughs> we have two abandoned sector options. Alright. Alright, let's go to this one. Abandoned sector it is. 
The war tore through the civilian sector, and just recently, even the few life signs that remained had begun blinking out. Rumors suggest that the Lanius are responsible. Down, 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 down. 129 scrap, we're gonna spend that on. Probably on some nice systems to make ourselves more powerful. Um, let's see if there's a store nearby, though. Well, we are in an abandoned sector. There's not, I don't think stores are super common here since it's a hostile sector. Could go for better mind control, perhaps, or better hacking. I want to go for better mind control, though. Get them to kill each other more. That's fun. And more evasion would be nice, too. But for now, we're just going to spend some of our money on the mind control and keep jumping. Mind control is not a system I use very often, so it's fun to get to play around with it now. We stumble across a badly damaged Lanius craft. It jumps away as soon as it sees us, and looking around the area, we discover a number of destroyed rebel automated ships. It must have been quite the fight. We scrap what remains, getting a fuel, a drone part, and 53 scrap for free. Well, I shouldn't complain about that. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome gift. Alright, let's put that power now into here, since we can afford it. There we go. More evasion is always good when you have Zoltan Shields, because it gives you free damage reduction. This might not be a good jump to take. I don't know if we can actually make it out of here, but we'll see what happens. Our rival coincides almost exactly with that of a rebel ship. It's hard to know who's more surprised, but there's no option but to fight. Alright, ooh, that's a big drone. Alright, you got a big missile and a big drone, I don't like it. I'm gonna mind control your captain again. He's got a longer mind control too, which is nice. More health on him, I believe, as well. We need to knock that missile launcher offline though pronto, so we're gonna get that chain laser up and ready. Uh-oh, hacking's coming in too. That could be a problem. Don't hit anything important. Doors are absolutely okay though. We're gonna fire through weapons, unfortunately. He's on the wrong side of the ship, but that's fine. Knock out that missile launcher, please. Oh! Oh, it fired. We're gonna get hit by that. Enemy ship is trying to run away. Oh, it missed. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't see the miss over the pause bar there. That could have been bad. They've repaired it, unfortunately, which is... Unfortunate, but thankfully they're already in a bit of a pickle here. A bunch of their crew is already in trouble though They've already lost quite a bit of damage There we go now. They no longer have the missile launcher, which is the important thing here We could go for another halberd. I think yeah all their crew are still alive. So we're just gonna go for the kill here Goodbye jump is imminent. It is not going to happen though. We're not gonna accept their surrender Nope fire that thing. There we go rebel disruptor goes down very nice Ship explodes, giving us two fuel, two missiles, and 48 scrap. That will do. Alright, we can make the jump good. I was worried we'd be stuck there. Thankfully, that's not the case. Let's continue our adventure. Alanius Merchant appears to have significantly improved translator, as we clearly understand their message. Metal content more than sufficient. Does your ship care to exchange resources for excess metal? Well, three fuel for 15 scrap is not an amazing offer, but we have a ton of fuel, so it's probably pretty decent. If we decline them and ask about their translation device, we can get a Lanius crew, but I don't think we really need a Lanius crew right now. We're just going to agree to the exchange. There you go. After the exchange is complete, they leave without a word. That gives us a little bit more scrap, which isn't bad. There's a store right there, so we'll go there in a minute once we can get a little bit more money first. Let's go here first. We do want to get some repairs for sure. This beacon appears to have been set up within an asteroid field to access a mining settlement. However, half of the settlement has been disassembled by a number of Lania scavengers. Their military escort moves in to scare us off. Well, that's no good, and they're cloaked as well, which is going to make things harder for us too, since our initial attack is pretty slow. Also, the asteroid field is going to wreck our Zoltan shield pretty fast, and they're going to try and board us with Zoltan, or rather with Lanius, which is never fun. Thankfully, they missed us with their missile, which is a good start. We're going to immediately mind control their captain. There we go. Ooh, there goes, our shield is almost gone, which is unfortunate, because they're about to fire the big weapons, and there it goes. They have mind-controlled kumquat, which is not great, given they just fired another missile, uh oh. Alright, Lime, you're going to quickly take over the helm here, give us that evasion chance back, because we need it right now. Missile missed, oh good, ooh boy, that could have been really bad, oh, we just took a fire in the shields, not good. Alright. We kind of need our mind control back right now. We're going to hop out of the helm here to quickly try and fix these fires, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. We have a shot coming in now, which is good. We're going to go for their weapons, see if we can knock out any of these explosives and whatnot. We're also going to knock out their mind control and their teleporters, so they can't do anything else like that. There we go. We receive a message from the enemy ship that our translator struggles to interpret. Penitence for metal, offering intention. Six missiles, a drone part, and 20 scrap is not great. If we don't accept their surrender, we'll probably take more damage, but we might be able to beat them, so we're not going to accept their surrender. This is where we take the risk. Alright, you're back on our side, Kumquat. Unfortunately, we did lose our helm, and our shields are still burning. We're going to actually leave you in here for a second. We need to try and fix these things. Get you into the helm there. A grapefruit. Uh oh, careful, Tangerine. Get out of that room. Alright. Don't want to lose you to fire. They've cloaked again, so we're probably going to take another rocket in a second. Our shields are still down, which is not good. 
We do have our clone base still online, so if we need it, we've got it. Alright, these guys need to hurry up and reappear so I can shoot them before we get in trouble here. Alright, the shields are not back online yet. They've teleported away, which is good. We definitely have some serious hurt, though. This was, this was a dangerous battle. That was a long, long time, too. Alright, here comes a bomb into the mind control, which is fine. A missile into the engines, which is not great, but still fine. We want to wait a little bit longer so we can get the Halbear Beam in here and kill them this time. Goodbye, Lanius crew. You are dead. That was a vicious fight. Alright. Ship explodes, even behind us a collection of useful scrap material, giving us two fuel, one missile, and 42 more scrap. Ouch, though. Really ouch. Can I uh, reset positions? Not really. That's fine. Let's go fix this. Fix up our damage with our fantabulous high speed repairman grapefruit. And then we're going to jump over to the, uh, the store and do a bit of repairs. If there wasn't a store nearby, I might have accepted their surrender earlier and just boogied out of here earlier. But, oh, we have two stores. Eh, we'll go to this one. And see what they have on offer for us. A trading depot is set up near the beacon. A surprising number of military ships guard the station. We pick up an advertisement on a wide-band channel. Ship parts, repairs, refueling, souvenirs, we got it all. Check out the only store not afraid of scavengers this side of Omicron 6. What do you got here, friend? You got some systems I don't care about. Or, uh, which of columns I don't care about. Weapons I don't care about. Drones I don't care about. I might want to buy a backup battery. That's a nice thing to have in a pinch. Very nice in, uh... Nebulae as well. We're definitely going to buy some repairs though, because we need some. I could sell the small bomb if I wanted and get something different, but none of these weapons will pair with what we've got anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference to us. Um, don't need to buy any fuel or anything. I'm probably going to upgrade the clone bay now, so we're not going to need to buy the med bay. We're going to stick with the clone bay this run, which might be a problem, but we're going to do it anyway. And I don't really want drone control right now, especially... Well, it comes with a combat drone. We wanted, we probably want a defense drone with that instead. We'll grab the backup battery here, and we will power up our clone bay a little bit. And that should be good for now. We'll also power up our helm so we don't lose it to a single point of damage anymore. This means we heal faster passively, which is good. That means that uh, I think we get... What is it? Double? No, not... Yeah, double. We double the health back per jump, so 16 instead of 8, which is quite a bit nicer. We're going to try and avoid medicinal airlocking our crew just yet, but we might wind up doing that after all anyway. Let's jump over here first and see what happens. A pirate ship is firing on the small ship's dock at a refueling station nearby, where they're broadcasting on a wideband channel. We catch the captain's rant mid-speed. Saw you trading with those damn scavengers. I'll show you what happens when you try and undercut the red giant gang. Well, we're going to attack those pirates. We charge our weapons, which quickly gets the pirate ship's attention. Well, they got a lot of lasers, that's for sure. This could be a problem, but we're also going to mind control their captain. Huzzah! Fortunately, I was hoping the Lanius would go fight him, because that's going to suffocate their own captain. But that's okay. I might suffocate their captain, might suffocate their own crew, but whatever. Flat comes in, it's going to knock out most of our zone shield, most likely. No, it didn't. Holy cow, that was an amazing miss on their part. Alright, firing away with the chain lasers. That was some bad missing, but thankfully we've got enough shots in there that we can really wreck them now. There we go. Knocked out a good amount of their firepower and disabled shields, clone bay, drone power a little bit. Very good. Ooh. Pinged us right in there. Thankfully, we should still be able to hurt them pretty good here with another chain laser shot. Oh, double misses is not what I was counting on there. All right, another flak might do some damage. We'll see what happens. Shields are back up, though, so looks like we got pretty lucky that time. And this time, we should kill them with the halberd, no problem. There we go. Pirate Destructor goes down. Pirate ship breaks apart, giving us a fuel, two missiles, and 49 scrap, and we hasten to contact the civilians. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull damages, thanks. That's good. Five hull repair is great. And I've never actually seen that pirate event before. It's a cool one. Alright, we're going to keep going this way, see if we can get some more beacons before we head to the exit and get out of here. So far, we've been doing pretty well, though. A small asteroid belt is near the jump beacon. It must be mineral rich since Elenia's ship is docked on a large rock, slowly absorbing parts of it. We could probably get their attention pretty easily. Look at those rockets, though. And they have a mind control, and a cloak, and a teleporter. Ugh, I don't know if we really want to fight them. We're probably going to do it anyway, because that's what we do. But, I don't know. That looks like it could be some serious trouble. Let's deck that ship. We move in and power up weapons, detecting the threat. They stop what they're doing and prepare for a fight. Alright. Hopefully they don't have a very big cloak. Or a big, uh, yeah, big cloak. 
because that could be a problem if they have a really powerful one. Thankfully though, most of those missiles should hit the shield and get blocked. Yes, perfect. Didn't even knock out the shields completely. Alright, so we're going to mind control their crew. We might go for a hack this time, which is something we don't normally try. We might hack their mind control or their teleporter when they actually get in close, or maybe even their cloak, who knows. We're going to take some shots at them though and try and knock those missiles offline before they can hit us again. Thankfully... Okay, here we go. For an attack on the weapons. Now, I am going to quickly power up the backup battery to power the hack to hack the mind control. Actually, I don't know if I need to do that yet. Hang on. First, we fire the weapons. And we halberd beam through here. Oh, he just got away, didn't he? Alright, we knocked out the mind control, which is the important thing. We knocked out most of the missiles, which is also good. However, they're now trying to run away, which is not good. And I think they successfully boarded us. Looks like they did. Alright, that's a problem. Thankfully, they missed us with that big rocket, which is great. We could hack the helm here, which I think the best thing we can do to stop them from running. Because if they get away, we'll be in trouble here. Ooh, that's... this is bad. They cloaked during our hack flight, so it might not be able to get there in time. We might not be able to stop them. We've taken some serious hits, too. They bring the big rocket launcher back online, which is also bad news. I'd love to vent this out, but we can't do that, so we're just going to send you in there. Now the hacking should attach. We're going to activate the hack now. And the chain lasers should be able to knock the system out for real, although we want to go for the weapons as well. And there's nobody on the helm right now, so we're actually going to go for weapons here. There we go. Receive an image of their captain, silhouetted by the destruction aboard their ship. It bows forward with the metallic appendages of its body doing the same. About its body, rather. It appears to be requesting mercy. Unfortunately, we don't do mercy here on the VSS Citrus. We just do murder. Alright, they've mind-controlled us again, which means we're going to have to leave the shields temporarily because I don't want to kill our Zoltan. He will respawn in our clone bay in a minute, but it's still not worth the bother. And these guys are doomed. Halberd Beam comes in and wipes the floor with the Ladius. Nice try. Alright, ship explodes, revealing their cargo of unprocessed metal. We collect a significant amount of scrap, getting two fuel, a drone part, and 56 more scrap metal. Fantastic. Alright, Tangerine, you have no skills. You're going to go get medicinal airlocked. The pain will only continue for a moment. And let's put some power back in here before he dies for real. And he should respawn nice and quick there as well, with the additional power in the clone bay, so that's nice too. I might, uh... Might let Lemon have a nice medicinal airlocking as well. Just speed things up a little bit as far as healing goes. There you go, friend. Nice, a nice, uh, nice little medicinal, uh... Yeah, let's just call it a health break. That's what we'll do. Alright, power back in there. You've lost a little bit of skill, which isn't too bad. Three evasions is not hard to get. And let's keep going here. 120 scrap. We could try and go to a store, but there aren't any. So we're not going to do that because it's not a thing you can do. We could power up the mind control more and go for more power there. That could be fun. Extra damage and boosting health on the enemies is always nice. Doesn't actually increase the duration, though, does it? No. It just makes them more powerful while they're mind controlled. It might boost duration. I don't know. I haven't experimented much with this before. And I guess that's reason enough to try it. Put some power in there, see what happens. Does this make it longer? No, this is about the same length every time, which is fine. We're gonna jump over this way, then we'll head over to the exit beacon in a little bit and see what more damage we can cause here. We jumped into a pulsar, which is interesting. The pulsar will knock out most of our Zoltan shield, but won't do anything else, unless they can knock it out first. There appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, although it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted. The line of the ship that's been working at it moves in to intercept us, totally oblivious to the threat of EM pulses. Ooh, that is... Quite the arsenal you've got there. Alright, let's mind control your only captain. Only captain? Of course only have one captain. One of your only two crew is what I meant to say there. Might actually go for a hack as well in their weapons, because I really don't want to get hit in the face with that rocket anytime soon. We have a ton of drone parts, so we can easily afford it. Alright, let's just activate the hack here, and we're going to blast them with a chain laser in the face, which should basically kill their crew. Chain lasers. Fun for all the family. Alright, now we fire through there, which wipes out most of their weaponry. Their comms system receives a video of them waving white flags. Yes, no thank you, we're not accepting your surrender. They do sell the big missile online, but we still have our Zoltan shield, which might get knocked out by this, actually. 
Nope, it missed. Fantastic. Now, it might get knocked out by this as well. Probably we're in trouble here, but we might be able to kill them anyway. Chain laser's coming in quick. There we go. Down they go. Linea scout exploded before they could even fire that rocket. Ship goes down, giving us three more fuel, one more drone part, and 39 scrap. That could have been bad. Thankfully, it wasn't, though. All right. We're going to let this regenerate a little bit, and we're going to leave before anything else bad happens to us. Unvisited location. Here we come. Debris from a number of battleships are scattered around the beacon. As we approach the area, a pirate ship thrusts itself through the hulks, hulks to attack. It must be using the metal to lure Lanius into a trap. Interesting. Well, they've got some decent lasers. They could probably hurt us if they really try. We're going to mind control their Mantis, though, because that should do some extra damage to them, because he's now incredibly high damage, instead of just being normally high. He's already one of the med bay, really. That was a quick bailing attack there. Oh yeah, one's down already. That's what we like to see. And going for the high damage combo here. There we go. Blast them through there. Nope. Blast them through those four rooms. Thank you very much. There we go. The ship is already trying to run away. Unfortunately, its helm is destroyed, so it's not going to be happening. Can you kill him as well? Oh, not quite. That is a serious power up though on that guy. That mantis just about killed two crew there by himself and did damage to the weapon system. That's what we like to see. That is a really nice power up actually. And they try and surrender, saying, I cannot believe how well your sh equipped your ship is. Please, take this and let us live. I don't need fuel, guys, otherwise I might have accepted it, but nope, not today. Halberd beam, goodbye, pirate fighter. As we demolish everyone in our path. Ooh. The ship explodes, even behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, giving us two missiles, a drone part, 37 scrap, and an actual laser we can use. A heavy laser mark one fits into our current loadout quite nicely, because it only takes one power. So does a small bomb, but more lasers. More lasers is good. Small bomb might be a good choice for later, too. I don't know. We'll experiment with it as we go, I'm sure. So we can stick another power bar in there. There we go. And if we use our backup battery, we can actually run that thing. Let's jump over here, then check out the exit, and continue onwards. We discover one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging our ship. That's fine by me. Their weapons aren't actually that dangerous to us, because we still have our Zoltan shield up. The ion blast will take it down pretty quickly, but even then, it's still not that bad. And we're going to turn off this to turn on the heavy laser, of course, because we do not need to have mind control active against this enemy. We could try and hack them, but I'm really not that concerned. They are going to throw a hack at us in a second, but not if we can help it. We're going to try and blast them down pretty quick here. There we go. Nice shot came through. And Halberd goes across, knocking out the hacking and most of their other system firepower. So, let's take another shot in here again. See if we can get through here without our Zoltan Shield never going down. Very nice. That looks like it's going to be the case now. Their weapons are offline. Everything else is basically neutralized. And we can kill them at our leisure. So we're going to fire in on the shields here. There we go. And Halberd beam them for the kill. Goodbye, Auto Hacker. Nice try. All right. Ship explodes, giving us one missile, one drone part, 31 scrap, and an ion bomb. Ooh. Lots of free stuff all of a sudden. Might use the ion bomb instead of the heavy laser, because that is some serious shield disabling, which is really nice. So might swap out for that. That weapon is awesome. Can't quite afford to buy the power we need to actually run everything, but we should be able to after this, after this beacon, depending on what it actually gives us. We've arrived at the Long Range Beacon, what do you find here? A rather large fleet of civilian ships are held up at this beacon. It appears to be a rebel checkpoint, and everyone's being, ex being expected for possible ties to the Federation. No one has noticed us yet. So, I don't actually know what all these, like, options actually wind up doing. I've seen a bunch of different results for them, I don't know which one's the best one yet. We're gonna try and bribe the rebels again, though. It's an easy 13 scrap for potentially getting something good. So let's bribe the rebels and see what happens. As everyone currently awaiting inspection is human anyway, the rebels let them go. They take our scrap and tell us to hurry along. You'd think they'd notice who we were if we're bribing them, especially with such a bright yellow ship. We're kind of the most obvious thing in space after the uh, desert camouflage stealth cruiser. But here we go. Contact the civilian ships. The civilians are grateful, however, none of them seem eager to be mistaken as Federation loyalists, so they quickly jump away. Eh, fair enough. I think you can get a reward from them for doing that, or, like, they can give you a store or repairs or upgrades for your systems or something, but I seem to get the nothing result a lot. We could jump over this way, too, but then we have to fight our way out of the exit, and I don't think it's really worth it right now. We're just gonna jump out of here. Another NG-controlled sector or another Zoltan-controlled sector? I think... I think, logically, we gotta go to the NG-controlled sector again, because that's what we've been doing all game. And also, because we have an NG, and there's some really good options for things there. So let's go to the NG-controlled sector and see what happens. Here we go. 
We've arrived in energy space. The Amentus have been threatening the energy core worlds. We should be able to stock up for our journey. However, we're going to have to end this episode here for now. So, thank you all very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing some more FTL Advanced Edition here with the VSS Citrus and her loyal crew, Lemon, Lime, Orange, Kumquat, Dendrine, and Grapefruit. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.